Do you know what nobody told us when we were learning to put a presentation together? Let's say you need to give a presentation and you start thinking about what you will present. You were asked to give this presentation because you know so much about this topic. You think about all this wonderful information you know about the presentation subject. You make some really beautiful slides and you have so much amazing information to tell everybody. You practice for days and days, maybe weeks. You give your presentation and you feel great. As you finish, you look at the audience. They all have blank looks on their faces. They don't seem interested or excited. They don't even ask questions. When you see other speakers give their presentations, people in the audience are excited, full of energy, and ask questions. Why? What's the difference between those speakers and you? The difference is that no one ever told you before that your presentation needs to be focused on what message your audience needs and wants from you. Instead, in the past, we were all told that we need to tell the audience what we know and show how smart and great we are. But that's 100% wrong and the opposite of what we should be doing. Welcome to part three of my six part aimed series. And in this video, I'll explain how it is necessary for you to choose a message that your audience needs or wants. I'm Grant and I'm a business English confidence coach. I help business professionals communicate confidently so that they can have the freedom to do whatever they want in life. I created the AIM series and the AIM framework to help my clients communicate at the highest level. And I'm sharing all of that information with you in this six part series. This information is not only for presentations, it's for meetings and all types of communication. And I believe very strongly that if all of us communicated this way, we would have much better meetings and presentations. Let's review the first two parts of my AIM series. In part one of my AIM series, I made a video discussing how the A in AIMED stands for audience and how important it is to take the time to really learn who your audience is and how you can relate to them. If you haven't seen that video, you can find the link in the description below. In part two of my AIM series, I made a video describing the letter I and that as a presenter, the presentation is not about I, I, I. It's not about you. It's about serving your audience. Again, if you haven't seen these two videos before, I highly recommend you watch them for much more detail on these topics. Let's go back to your presentation. You followed my first two steps of the AIM framework, and you have taken the time to learn who your audience is, why they're here for this meeting or presentation, how you can relate to them, and you realize that the focus of this presentation is not on you, but instead it is on your audience. In today's part three video, I will explain how the M in AIMED stands for message, but not just any message. Of course, a message for your presentation or meeting is always important, but serving your audience with the message they really need or want is the key to great communication. Again, it must be the message that this audience, the specific audience really needs or wants. If you follow my simple aimed framework, 
This is really pretty easy. And it leads to the greatest presentations and meetings. Who are you talking to? Why are they here? What do they need or want? How can you help them by giving them exactly what they need or want? Do you see how this is so different from what information you want to tell them? Again, it's not about you. It is all about this audience. So how do you figure out what this specific audience needs or wants? You have to figure out what this message is. You have so many messages to choose from because you know so much about the topic, but this message has to really relate to this audience. This message has to really help the audience. This message is a message that this audience really needs, or this message is a message that this audience really wants right here, right now. Most speakers are focused on themselves and what they should tell the audience. <laughs> but this is the opposite from what you should do. It really is impossible to relate to your audience if you don't take the time to understand what the audience needs or wants from you. Every speaker has a responsibility to their audience to help the audience and give the audience what they really need or want. This is the number one responsibility of all speakers. There's a big difference in talking to your audience with everything you know and doing it the right way by serving your audience with the message they need and want. Put yourself in their shoes. If you were in the audience for this presentation or for this meeting, what would you want? Put some real thought into this. People go to a meeting or a presentation and they need some information or they want some information. It's your responsibility to know exactly what they need or want. How can you learn what this audience needs or wants? It usually is pretty easy to do some research to learn more about this audience and what message they really need or want. If you were in the audience and in their position, what would you want? I had a client tell me one time that they didn't know what their audience would need or want. So I told my client to ask, ask people that would be in the audience when he gives this presentation. And either my client could ask himself or he could ask some other people to ask some of the people that would be in the audience. And it worked. It worked really well. It was really easy. As soon as they asked, got the information from people that were going to be in the audience, what they really needed, what they really wanted. A speaker usually has a huge amount of knowledge and information about a topic. A speaker could talk for hours and hours about everything they know about a topic. But the audience usually has no interest in wanting to listen to you tell them everything you know about some topic. <laughs> so let's look at how to plan a great presentation or meeting. And first, we really need to understand, number one, who is our audience and how can we relate to them? Number two, that the presentation is not about the presenter. It's only about serving the audience. And number three, what message does this audience need or want? When you take these steps, your audience will be very interested in your talk. They will relate to you because you were able to relate to them. You know what they need. And here, you are helping them and giving them what they really need and want. Now, you help this audience and you give them exactly what they need and want. They'll be so excited and so happy that you really helped them with what they needed. In the next video, part four of my AIM framework, I'll be discussing what the letter E stands for in AIM. Part four is 
the most important step in this framework. Because without doing step four, your presentation or meeting will never be remembered by anyone. Can you guess what the letter E stands for in AIM? As always, <laughs> please put your best guesses in the comments below. And I wanna make a special note. Thank you for taking the time to watch this series. I know it is not as entertaining and it is serious, but it's so important for building your communication confidence. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.